Okay, uh, first of all, congratulations to Texas A&M. Um, obviously, we're disappointed um, with the way the thing finished. Uh, kids fought back, got in the hole early. Uh, they had a lot of momentum. We're down uh, by quite a bit at halftime. Our guys fought back. Uh, obviously, the, the fumble going in, uh, that was big right there. And then the, uh, the last one right there when we were trying to check the communication. We had three turnovers, I thought. Uh, the defense at first, you know, the first uh, part of the game, I mean, they were they were getting quite a few yards. In the second half, I think we held the three, uh, excuse me, two field goals. Uh, big play in the game, obviously, was uh, right before half when they blocked the field goal and returned it for a touchdown. That was a definite impact play uh, on that. But uh, like I said we got a lot of disappointed uh, players in that locker room. Uh, I just told them that we're going to stick together. We're not going to blame any one person. We fought hard. We just didn't get it done at the end. Questions? Just the, the last fumble there. Just the, the, the tell you what happened. Just missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to check a play right there, which we've done a lot of times. We just had a little bit of miscommunication there. On that fumble at the five-yard line, why had the zone read as opposed to just a straight hand? Yeah, well, that's what we do. I mean, that's who we are. And, uh, that's, that's, we've been real successful with that numerous times. And, uh, we're not going to second guess ourselves on that one. It's just unfortunate we've done that numerous times and we usually are pretty successful. Do you know the status of Duke Williams? He, he couldn't play. That's, that's about it. He couldn't play in the second half. He was out on the sideline. I do not have any update at this time. Still having problems, just problems with the safeties and secondary after the way defense played in the first half. Well, I mean, obviously we didn't get off to a very good start. You know, that <coughs> freshman quarterback, you know, he hit some passes down the field and they moved their offense pretty well. Uh, about the second half, you know, we, we, we played much better. Because of the big picture, to lose a game not only this way with two fumbles in the final two and a half minutes or so, but with everything that's at stake here the SEC West nationally. How deflating is this for you personally? Well, I mean, it hurts. It hurts our team. I mean, uh, you know, we have goals and dreams. And we didn't get it done tonight. I mean, it's unfortunate. Uh, we didn't get it done. And, uh, you got to be a big boy. You got to man up. And, uh, you got to be better for it, you know, in the in the future. Uh, like I said before, we got a lot of champions. Uh, just got to try to improve, but it's not going to it's not going to affect us in a negative way the rest of the year, put it that way. Just how did you feel that Jermaine played his first game back in Dexley? I thought he did some solid things. Obviously, that interception was big. Just the plan all along to play him in this game? Uh, we had him with the defense um, this week. He's a veteran guy. I knew what was going on. And uh, that's the way it went down. You also said yourself, you know, these, the two fumbles came on plays that you do all the time. You know, checks and, and even the, the mesh to the handoff. What do you take away from that? Um, I'm just, you know, disappointed probably. I mean, we just didn't get it done when we usually do. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're, we're not going to blame anybody. That's just the way it goes, and we got to do better next time. You, know, so you guys did pretty good against the run. They were able to run it a little bit better than they had. Yeah, they spread it out on us, and uh, they hurt us with a little bit of the zone back to the boundary when they had it spread out. Cap has the most productive game of his career tonight. It goes over a thousand yards, or about a hundred yards actually. Just I know obviously the fumble at the end with that exchange is gonna be the takeaway, but how do you evaluate his whole, his whole game? Well, I mean, you know, Cap he's a champ. Uh, you know, we have a fumble, I guess the first play of the game, which was uncharacteristic too, but he's a champ, he's a tough guy, and he did some good things tonight. Anything else on its performance? I mean Seemed like first half really there was up and down, and then that second half he obviously. Yeah, I think he made some big plays. He always does. Uh, made some big plays, especially in the second half. Yes, with Jimmy Hudson getting both the punts tonight, is he basically taking the job full time now? Uh, you, you know, I wouldn't say full time, but we're having we're getting more and more confidence in him.